Here's 11. It says, given the lengths of two sides of a triangle, 1 and 8, tell what the third side's length must be between. Well, if we think this out, this one guy is 8, the other guy is 1. What would be the shortest I could make it? Well, that would be if the 1 were like almost flat down. And then we could see this guy would be close to 7. Not quite. He's got to be a little bit more than 7. If it were flat there, then it would be exactly 7. But since he's up a little bit, eh, we got to stretch a little higher. So 7 would be as small as the side could be. What would be as large as it could be? Well, if you had 8 and you took this 1 and you sort of stretched it almost perfectly flat there, you can see that's almost 9. So this third side would have to be you know, a little bit less than 9. So the largest would be 7, excuse me, the largest would be 9, the smallest would be 7. So our measurement is somewhere between 7 and 9. See, I use M for measurement. It's somewhere between 7 and 9. Can't equal 7, can't equal 9. Again, the quick way to get this answer is you simply subtract them to get the smallest it could be because they're almost on top of one another, 8 and 1, and going back to the 7 there and you add them to get the 9. So you subtract them to get the smallest, you add them to get the largest, and the measurement's got to be somewhere between these two measurements.